Many strange occurrences happen around the world daily. Numerous cases of these phenomena would go unseen or hidden from the public eye, but not all of them. Found footage is video proof of many of these strange anomalies occurring in our everyday lives. Whether the creators of the found footage are alive or missing doesn't make these videos any less creepy. Which is why I will be going over a few of the creepiest found footages I could find online. Hello everyone, this is Night Fuel. The first video that we will be discussing today is the eerie and disturbing found footage that was discovered by a group of explorers in the Paris Catacombs. The Paris Catacombs are a truly disturbing and horrific place. It is believed to house the remains of more than 6 million people as part of an effort to assist the constant overflow of cemeteries. After the years of skeletal remains left in the tunnel network, many have called the catacombs the gate to hell. We first start the video off with the man who seems to be traveling through the catacombs by himself, which is a very brave but unwise decision. The man seems calm for someone traveling alone. Walking deeper into the tunnels, he spots a hole in the wall, which seems to show a room that is filled with bones. He takes some time to record what he sees before he continues going deeper through the catacombs. After some time, he stumbles upon a drawing on the wall, which resembles a chained up human body along with some symbols or markings. From the footage's point of view, it seems like the cameraman is starting to tense up. He starts breathing harder and speeds up as if something startled him or could even be following him. The man recording runs along the maze-like walls of the catacombs, which is very unnerving. Just imagine yourself running through a dark maze with no sense of direction. You're trapped, all alone, with the possibility of someone following you. I can't even imagine the fear that he felt. After running for some time, the camera drops. The catacombs in France are extremely long and can reach up to 300 feet deep, which leads me to believe that the man recording has disappeared in the catacombs and most likely died from starvation or thirst. But my biggest concern was, what could be the reason behind a sudden fear? Was somebody chasing him? Did he see something? Did he go insane? Or did he feel that he was too far in and could never find his way back? Regardless, this tale is one of the few real found footages to exist and is definitely one of the creepiest. One of the greatest fears I had growing up was being involved in a plane crash. I was so terrified that I'd pray before each flight to ensure my safety. But thankfully, nothing ever happened. The next video I'll be showing you guys is found footage on a VHS tape that was recovered by investigators after searching through the remains of a plane crash. The video that is playing right now seems to be recorded by one of the two passengers on board. From what I could conclude from the backstory, two friends went on a flight to Arizona using a private plane. Unfortunately, they never made it to their destination. Damn, hang on, Ronnie! The tape that was recovered from the crash was badly damaged, but investigators managed to repair it to a viewable state. The investigators believe that the reason behind the plane crash was that the plane stalled after the pilot has made a mistake of not realizing the altitude that they had been flying on. These were the final seconds before the plane crash, and it's truly heartbreaking hearing one of the men tell the other to hold on tight, almost like they knew the plane was going to crash. The final footage that we will be reviewing today was filmed on July 8th, 1998, and starts off outside the abandoned mine shaft somewhere in Utah. During the video, the explorers decide to enter a mine and make their way deeper into the shaft. One of the explorers in the group made a remark on how funny it would be if someone fell. At the moment, it all did seem like fun and games, but what the explorer didn't know is that he would just be foreshadowing his friend's terrible fate. We have to climb that. Yeah, don't everybody get up. I got you. You're gonna be the lucky one to fall. <laughs> this is going to America's funniest when somebody falls. That's a good idea. Alrighty. Oh, that's the cable. Don't touch that. I hope the rope's still there. Where did we step? Oh, hey, look at this ladder. <laughs> I don't think I ever climbed up that. Where? Down to the main shaft. Wow, so we're climbing down this rope. Yeah. How far down? How are we getting out of it? Climbing up it. I oh. see. 
Oh, this is who's, who's got bad rope climbing skills? I've climbed ropes before. And a, there's a little ledge you can how, on. How far down does it go? All the way down to that ladder. See where it's laying down? Where the oh, like, like a good 30 feet. Where the am I going to hook this I'll camera? I'll go first. I am. About 200 <laughs> feet. <laughs> You're like, where to go? <laughs> Put it like he's doing it in your mouth. <laughs> Man, it's all right. like this. Is it off now? No, it's not. How am I going to get this thing down there? Yeah, but I'm going to get back up. It looks dirty, has the knot. Yeah, I don't have a Hey, good. Give you my belt. Stretch on the oh. Adam! Oh, Adam! Adam! Oh. Adam! Yes. Adam! Oh, God. Oh God, somebody help. Adam! The others prepare to climb down, and the cameraman worries about where he place his camera. As the men get ready to follow the first explorer's lead, the rope snaps, plunging the solo climber 60 feet or so below, as confirmed by an expert. His friends call out to him, but there's no response. Rescue arrived and rescued him from the cave. Thankfully, he survived after being left in the dark cave for hours, hurt and unconscious. The man was one of the lucky ones who got to leave the mine with his life still intact. Many people who enter abandoned caves and mines don't come back out with their lives. These three tales of found footage are truly disturbing and leave us with many questions, such as whether the man from the catacombs escaped or how lucky the man from the mine shaft was to survive such a fall. But what do you guys think? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section, and hopefully we can come up with a proper conclusion. Thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a like or subscribe for more eerie and disturbing content.